Hey, this is Jinzuri here, and welcome back to Far Cry 5. Of course, the car is gone. Well, that's okay. We can just fast travel over here. So, we're gonna check out and see what, uh, Drubman wants. So, I got all the specialists now. I guess I could set it up to, you know, for the rest of them to recover faster, but I got so many specialists, I'll just switch through them. I'm gonna make Montana great again. If it's the last thing I do. It well, probably will be the last thing here. you do. It's my new campaign manager. Got a new job for you. Do you know what gerrymandering is? Of course you don't. You're a regular American, just like me. It's boring egghead stuff involving redrawn voting districts, blah blah blah. Anyways, the election's coming up, and them eggheads tell me I'm fucked in the polls because those goddamn Peggy's ain't gonna be voting for me. Say what you will about lunatic cult movements, but the bottom line is, they vote. Now, the eggheads say the only chance I got at winning would be to go back in time and gerrymander them district lines so the Peggy's ain't counted. And that got me to thinking, I could just as easily win if them Peggy's just didn't show up to vote. Now, I'm not telling you how to go about such a thing, wink, wink, but a permanent solution to my temporary problem would work best, if you catch my meaning. Obviously, I'm not saying to murder anyone, because that's still illegal. It is still technically illegal, right? But if there were less Peggy's around because they somehow tripped and fell on several dozens of bullets, it would probably help my chances. <laughs> the district in question is up at the crossroads by the Grill Street Diner. You could take my idiot son with you. He's not good at much, but he can shoot okay. And you know, if this were ever to blow back on us, it would be good to have Patsy. I don't even think he'd get jail time on account of him being a little touched. Well, what you waiting for? Get moving. Wow. This, this guy is a real piece of work. Alright, so we got to reach the crossroads, which is a good distance away. It's over here. Actually, of course, that's going to mean that, uh... Okay, these aren't none of these are locations that I can just teleport to. I can teleport to this one though. So we're gonna teleport to the lumber mill. I like how like even the uh the higher level Peggy's she just one arrow done. Hope you're well, man. Like she is ruthless. Ooh, come on, Jess. We taking this. It's got what I need on it. Where are you, Jess? Yeah. Indeed, I will. So we need to get over here. <laughs> what is it? I want you to do some extreme voter suppression and eliminate as many cult as you can from this district. All right. This is where they keep most of them. There's still more out there to see. Remember, they get in our way. You take them out. Oh, we're coming, piggies. What up? Down there. 
What? Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Oh, you sent a chopper in, huh? Let's go. There you go. Ooh. All right, get down. Heal up. There you go. Click, click, boom. Uh uh. I really hope they don't accidentally set off explosives or walk in front of moving vehicles. Are we good? There we go. <laughs> oh, that was nice. I hear liberals and Canadians are also pretty clumsy and not voting for me, but no pressure. Where? That's what I'm talking about. Oh no, we don't. Oh, this guy's good. Okay. What? And done. Don't freeze up on me now. There we go. Good. Well, you did it. Nice work. You and I are damn sure gonna make Montana great again. Tell you what. How about you take old Nancy? You go around cleaning up this county in that truck, and all them prospective voters will know who's got their backs. Oh, and please don't bring her junior back. Ever. Oh, nice. Hey, you don't turn my boomer. Wait a minute, what? I haven't reached the point for the hunters to come for me yet. What are you talking about? Oh. Again? Alright, so I'm going to leave this here, and when we get back, we'll deal with these hunters. I'm just going to save it here and then come back.